Hello YouTube, welcome back to the shop. Today's episode on what's in yours is how to repair a flat tire on the NAN Robot D4 Plus. So over the weekend, I picked up a nail on my tire. Can't remember exactly where it's at. If I can see it, right there. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this or not, these are not tubeless tires, they do have a tube in it similar to these right here and so that's what we're going to be doing today showing you how to replace the flat tire oh so what you got to do five millimeter allen uh there's two bolts here and your brake caliper just comes right off okay then you're going to have these two bolts right here that you're going to have to take off just do with the adjustable wrench and these two little locking washers um, that you're just gonna have to get out of there. So, I'm gonna take those off real quick. I did pre-loosen a lot of this, save a little bit of time. You wanna see the whole wrenching on every little piece. Boom. Now we're gonna just take a screwdriver, just kinda wiggle these pieces out. I'll do this side so you can see. See right here, you just wiggle it out of there. But I don't want the tire to drop low or drop on me here. So I'm just gonna put my hand underneath the tire. Look at that. All right. with it now that wire the motor wire did have some tie bands holding the wire in place so you're just going to want to make sure you put those back on when you're done so now these have uh, I think it's four millimeter five millimeter six of them that you have to take out to go all the way around these bolts right here all right, and then that tire just pops out, just like this. Okay, and then this rim part comes out, has a little hole where the stem valve goes, just like that. And then the tube, you just pull it out of it. Now you see these little dots on here. I was trying to patch it over the weekend, but didn't work. So we are gonna be replacing it with these new ones. And one thing I noticed, seems very very cheap on these tubes the ones i ordered off of amazon so feels like a lot thicker rubber now these are says right on there if you get a flat tire if you just want to order some extra you don't know exactly what they are these are 10 by 2 inch slash 2.125 circumference tires so you can just order that now I got both of these off of Amazon for 10 bucks and I'll put a link in the description um, if you want to check them out so that's what we're gonna be doing also another thing when you take this off I noticed that this hole that they drill for the stem valve has some very sharp uh, edges it was a crappy machining job so you're gonna want to take a file and just file around these edges so it doesn't rip into your uh, stem valve because that's put in place right there like that. And so it could tear right up into those, into that. So it's just a little extra precaution I did. It's a little file. Actually, I'll show you. It's just a little file. It's got a little beveled edge on it. And then you just go in there, file it out. Just be nice and easy with it. Gonna sharp this off. Now we'll go ahead and get the tube into the tire. Just put it, just gotta get it. Just put it in there. Just 
just like that. Make sure it's in there good. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do is get that where that stem valve hole is. You're gonna wanna line that up. So, see that? Okay. And look at the other side. Just make sure that rubber is out of the way of that aluminum ring. And then we're going to put this other ring, sandwich those back t together. Careful, because this, this aluminum has some sharp edges in it too, so. Just be mindful of that. All right. Now on this motor, it has a little cutout. Um, it's right here. That's where you're gonna wanna put the stem valve. Okay. And sometimes with the valve, you're just gonna have to wiggle it. Be careful not to uh, tear up the threads on the. Just like that. Okay. Turn this over. Make sure nothing's in the way. The tube. Line, line up the holes from the from this side to that side. Okay. Put the bolts back in. I like to start them, get them started. I don't like to put the drill on it until I know I've, I've started them. That way I'm not cross-threading because aluminum is real easy to cross-thread. Because it's a softer metal. Now what you're going to want to make sure too is that you put these in there nice and even. You want to torque them down nice and even, nice and tight. So I just got them in there now. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go from this bolt to this, this one, this one to this one, this one to this one. It's kind of the same way you do on a lug pattern um, on your car when you're changing the tire.
Bounced them out of here a little bit. It's gonna be e it's gonna be easier to get to once once you put a little air into it. And then I just started off with a little hand pump. It's got a little little screw end onto it, like so. And I'll use I'll pressure these up to about 40 to 45 psi. On the tire it says 50. Just depend, but, um, just depends on what. If you want a little bit of softer ride, a little easier over the bumps. And then I have an air compressor with a gauge on it that I'll. See the wire, the wire needs to go underneath. back in there I'm gonna put the bolts back on now this is the rear tire by the way okay and then I'm gonna tighten up these nuts don't have any torque specs on uh, torque specs on them, so I'm gonna use my best judgment with that. But I know they gotta be super tight. And then also put the caliper back on, and then also to those brake caliper screws have a little bit of blue lock Loctite on them. Got some of this here. You want the removable blue Loctite. Don't put the red on there because. Might not be able to, you'll strip it out before you be able to get the screw out of there. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like my channel, please for, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Ride safe.